Hey, what's up guys? Tuki here, back again with another episode of Nation United Canada Edition FIFA 19. You know the story. Today, on well, the day we begin our Champions League journey, but not before finishing up this transfer window. And I left the last episode on the question of whether or not we look to bring in some old faces, for the most part, uh, an insurance policy or two when it comes to... These are not the players that I pinned. <laughs> Uh, at least some of them weren't. But when it comes to bringing in some insurance policies to make sure that this team is fairly well-rounded, and to be honest, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, we don't have all of these guys scouted, but we're going to bring in these guys for the sake of just making sure that this roster is good to go and that we have depth. Now, for a lot of these guys that we bring in, we're not necessarily going to be too worried about their happiness. It's like, okay, you're here. If you want to leave, cool. I don't really care. But for now, we just need you to be there just in case and the first person we're going to try to bring back as a just in case kind of person is the original goalkeeper for this team alessandro boosty hopefully he will be our second choice keeper now that we've sent out of course our other two keepers that we are going to have to make those decisions on in the future now that both of them are out on loan we'll figure that out when the time comes now i don't think there's anybody that we want to add here. There's nobody that I'm trying to get rid of right now. So this will be just a straight up money offer. Indeed it will. We'll see if I can manage to completely offend them. I have no idea how much he's worth. Let's just say 10 million. That's a drop in the bucket to me at this point. And they took it. Okay. Might have paid them a little bit more than they had to, but sure. Alessandro Busti. Uh, let's see if we can lock down a $10 million transfer. We have like $200 million in the budget there. That's, again, nothing to us, all things considered. Now, I'm going to go for rotation. I don't know if he's going to bite for that. He might want important. He does, which, again, he's not going to get, but we'll sign him to that contract. That's fine by me. He wants a four-year deal. That's also fine by me. There's no way he's going to stay here for the duration of that. No release clause is fine. Please give me your money offer. He did. 25 k a week. You got it. So there you go. The OG's back. Alejandro Busti is back in for the Canadians of Kaiserslautern. So it will not be Ethan Morgan brought back. But in terms of left back, right back, we have the option of Godinho, Abralt, Gallard, or Colin Gauthier, who will pretty much just be sitting around it's not going to be Gautier because I feel like he'll actually do well being at Porto. Uh, but I'm going to try to bring Marcus Godinho back to the team. At least we know how much we're apparently going to have to offer, which is nothing. This should be fairly straightforward, quick and easy. Get this deal done. He'll be our insurance policy at right back. We're going to go with $9 million to start. And they want 11.3 and a sell-on clause. That's fine by me. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. Let's lock down these transfers and see what the second team ultimately looks like. Again, we'll offer these guys whatever the hell they need, whatever the hell they want. It's mainly just knowing that we have the options for them to be on this team in case of injury. And that way, of course, like last season where we ended up getting just a little bit low on... Uh, on well-rested players, that won't happen again this year. Now, in terms of center backs, it's Mandrakar James. It has to be. Of course we're bringing back Mandrakar James. We will just outright pay his release clause. Why the hell not? Skip a phase. Again, we have all the money in the world. So let's see if we can bring former captain Mandrakar James back to the team. Squad roll. Let's see if he wants a rotation at this point. He does. Again, we still have 141 million to spend, and not to. It's really technically more than that because of the wage budget. There is so much money that we have to throw around. It's a very beautiful situation. And money-wise, Mandrakar, how would you like 20k a week and a 100,000 dollars signing bonus? Because I can afford that. So why the hell not? He wants more. Jeez, he wants a lot more. He got. He got it. He got it. It's our former captain. We'll treat him well. So Derek Cornelius. Will not be back. From there, I was tempted to bring back Liam Frazier, but I think we're going to try to bring back Williams and Evan White. And then obviously, for strikers, it's it's Victor Olsen, who's the main target. Although I was also looking at Schwanier and Wilson. 
So, I don't know if Sean Yair is good enough at this point, i got to be honest. But let's, uh, let's see if we can lock up Russell Williams' $44 million release clause. We will just outright pay that to skip a cutscene. And we'll see if we can bring him back. He's just going to be sitting around doing a whole lot of nothing. We'll be selling these guys eventually. But they are the insurance policies. He's going to want an important squad role. So that's easy enough to do. Length of the contract. Let's see if he wants four years. I'll tell you what, man. A lot of the cutscenes are so, so similar for FIFA 20. It's unreal. I know a lot of people are more excited about the morale system. But it's, it's not that crazy good. I can tell you that much at least. But let's see if that will go through. He wants a bit more. That's fine. Russell Williams. Welcome back. You are our Paul Pogba, based off of how much I sold you for and how much I managed to bring you back for. But again, not a big deal. When we have a bunch of money just sitting here and we can't do anything with it, uh, we'll offer the transfer fee for white. Let's go for 20. 20 million? Does that work for you? That's probably a hell of a lot more than I need to do. It is actually. I probably could have gotten away with 15. Why not just throw some money around, though? Rather than hoarding the money, we're redistributing wealth right now. I am helping the problem. I won't be the next billionaire. I'm going to bring people up towards my level. Not entirely, but somewhat. It'll be fine. God damn it. Uh, let's see. No release clause. That's fine. No problem. 30k a week. You got it, Evan. Welcome back to the team. Welcome back. Strikers, we want Victor Olsen. And in fairness, this might be the last move I can afford to do because we are just going to outright pay that release clause and see if we can bring Victor back to the team. Again, he's not going to be used all that often. Larry Kerr is still the go-to striker, and then Jonathan David. But if both of them are tired, then congratulations, that's where Victor Olsen gets to step in. Like I said, at this rate, actually with the amount of money I've just been throwing around, we might not, I know, deny release clause, sir. I don't think so. You're not going anywhere. Go ahead and throw me the numbers, pal. There you go. Don't worry about it. I think that'll be the last move that we're able to make because I was a bit too free with the money. Uh, so between Cunningham and Wilson, I think we'll be okay with not having either of those players join us. But... There you go. We spent a little bit of money in this window for the first time in a long time because we couldn't really afford to spend the money any other way. But with the pressures of the Champions League being on our shoulders, it made sense to try and shore things up and figure out what we're going to be doing here. How much money did we spend in total? Okay, I'm not allowed to scroll over to see how much money we spent. All right, don't mind me then, FIFA. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm sorry. How dare I try to scroll over? What the hell, dude? I can't, I can't move. Yes, it's 7 a.m. I can't hit A. What the hell? <laughs> I feel like this mode is just breaking the further I go into it. Like, do I have to turn off that? Oh, there you go. Maybe. No, I still can't hit any buttons. I still can't hit any buttons. EA, what the hell? I feel like you're breaking the mode for me. It's not letting me hit A. <laughs> what the hell is happening? I can't hit any buttons. EA, don't make me redo all those transfers. I swear to God. I think it's up. Oh, up. Oh, okay, I got to the catalog. Can I hit A now? I can't hit either. I can't hit the triggers. It's broken. All right, we're back. I had to redo every single move, but everyone's back on this team. If it freezes again, I have one of two options, either simming a day and then doing the moves, or just saying to hell with it and not doing the moves at all, which is what I'm leaning towards. Thankfully, though, it's letting me hit A, so that's nice. We also did save a little bit of money. Don't tell me it just froze again. I swear to God. I swear to God, EA. I swear to God. All right, never mind. No transfer moves. None. We're keeping the team as is. Whatever the hell gets me through this without this ridiculousness happening. I'm not I'm not going to reload this sim day and I'm not doing it for a third time. Screw it. So, I tried simming ahead and getting past this ninth hour thing. I think my game is broken. 
Let's see if it lets me move it. Nope, it's not letting me move ahead. I am legitimately thinking that my game is broken. I didn't make the moves this time. I just thought, oh, okay, let me go to deadline day and sim ahead. I, I can't advance, and I don't know why. So I guess that's the episode for today. Let me know if you have a fix, because I don't. I can't hit the bumpers or over to move. It's just stuck. So that's fun. If this is the last episode of the series, I thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll be back tomorrow.